Number 52, letter A. What is the strength of the weak nuclear force relative to the strong nuclear force? Let's take a look at that. So here's a table right from the textbook. Um, so let's identify the weak nuclear force. Here's the value. The strong nuclear force. Here's the value. And now what they want us to do is they want us to relate the weak nuclear force to the strong nuclear force. All right, so in order to create the right ratio, we're going to do the force of the weak relative to the force of the strong. Okay, whatever you're relating it to always goes in the denominator. So the weak nuclear force is 10 to the minus 13. The strong is 1. Right, these are relative strains, so therefore, I mean, that's it, right? <laughs> Dividing it by 1 is the same as itself. So this would be the relative strength of the weak nuclear force relative to the strong. So that takes care of letter A. Let's turn our attention to letter B. So what is the strength of the weak nuclear force relative to the electromagnetic force? All right, so what's in the denominator this time? The electromagnetic force, right? So here's part B. So now we're comparing the strength of the weak uh, nuclear force to the gravitation, oh, excuse me, to the electromagnetic force. So we'll say F sub E. So the weak nuclear force, again, it's 10 to the minus 13. And then the electromagnetic is 10 to the minus 2. 10 to the minus 2. So when we do the division here, it comes out to be 10 to the minus 11. Right? To 1, basically. So the, the uh, weak nuclear force is 10 to the 11 times weaker than the electromagnetic force. And that would take care of letter B. And then the rest of the problem just goes on to explain something, but you can read that on your own if you like. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.